into it because I know we don't have a lot of time. Um, so why SIT? Your family is your first teacher, advisor, and guide. They nurture you and support you, providing you with the tools to grow and succeed. At SIT, we are a family. We cultivate an environment inspired by traditional values. We offer a learning atmosphere with quality programs tailored to ensure your success. Um, so these are the post-secondary programs that are coming up next year for the fall 2021 to 2022 school year. Um, so you'll see on the left, it'll be the programs, then you'll see the length, location, intake, academic requirements and non-academic requirements for each program. So if you see one that you like and you wanna read a little bit more, you have a chance to do that. And I will just quickly peruse over some of the more important points for each program. So for the business program, you'll see business certificate and diploma. This is the only program that's a two-year program. I'm just showing it split up though. Um, what do you call it? Because it's the only program that you can take that if you finish the first year and you're thinking, you know, business isn't really right for you and you want to go into something else, you actually still walk away with that business certificate. And if you do want to further it, you get you can go into the business diploma pro, um, year two business program. And with this, um, if you want to further your education, you can go into, you can transfer your credits to the Edwards School of Business, who will be presenting to you after, because um, the it, you can transfer the credits basically. Um, with mental health, it's a two-year program, so you'd have to be there for the whole two years um, to to get um, the diploma out of it. IT support specialist is just a nine-month certificate program, um, and IPN is one of the popular um, post-secondary programs at SIIT. And with this one, you'll see the academic requirements are quite a bit lengthy, but you do need your ELA A and B30. Um, one of the math C30 is the foundation pre-tel or cal calculus 30, as well as the science 30. And your average in those classes, those required classes, needs to be above 65%. And um, there is an intake in the fall of 2021. However, this is, like I said, one of our popular programs. So it actually fills up really quickly, like very fast. So it's um, it's actually has a quite a lengthy wait list already. But if this is something you're interested in, um, it's offered every two years. So um, it's working in two year cohorts. So the next intake will be the fall of 2023. And if you see any of those requirements that you like, if you didn't take your math 30 um, and, you, and you wanna go into this program, I suggest you do it within the next two years. Um, and then when you do see this program online in two years time, um, I would suggest to apply for it immediately. Um, don't take your time with getting your documents in because you see with the non-academic requirements, you you have to still add some more things other than your transcript. The same thing with healthcare aid, you got to add a little more things with other than your transcript. So for the next page, you'll see the possible annual salaries for each program. Um, this is averaged. Um, so basically what it says, what it means is like you can either make more than the, the amount I'm showing you or possibly less. And this is all depending on where you do work and what it is you do do. And then, yeah. And then also funding <laughs> when you do apply for different areas, like when it comes to mental health and wellness, like if you become a social and community service worker, it all depends on the facility you work at and the funding they get to um, hire employees and how much they pay their employees. Um, with, um, you can see on the prospective jobs of, where you can work or the possible jobs that you can work at a different location. Sorry, I'm messing that up, kind of nervous. Um, yeah. So trades and industrial. Um, these are the programs, like I said, um, some are offered in the fall, which is September, and others are offered in the winter of 2022, which is January. So um, the winter of 2022 programs are still accepting intakes. However, um, with electrical applied, it is filling up quite quickly. So if you have an interest in taking that in Saskatoon, um, I would suggest you apply soon. Um, so with aircraft maintenance engineering, this is the only, our program at SIT is the only one being offered for an aircraft maintenance engineer um, in Saskatchewan. So you can't take it anywhere else in Saskatchewan. So 
kind of makes it more, um, I guess, exciting. Um, and you'll see like with the requirements for all these programs that um, they range from grade 10 to grade 12. So um, with that being said, um, just because you completed your grade 12 and you decide, oh, I don't need to take a grade 11 or 12 now because I wanna be a welder, um, we do favor um, grade 12 applicants. So um, with that being said, like um, we, we look at them first as a priority um, before grade 10, because like SIT does want to see you succeed for like your future. And like it says um, at the bottom right one, um, it says some employers require grade 12 to advance in a company. So we would like to you to have that barrier removed to succeed in the future. Um, as well as when you look at fourth and third class power engineering, um, it kind of looks confusing on which one do you apply for first. Um, the fourth class is what you would apply for first. And once you achieve your fourth class power engineering, then you can apply into third class power engineering. I don't know why the numbers are reversed like that. I don't know how that works. I'm not a power engineer. <laughs> so these are the possible annual salaries. Like I said, it's averaged out. You can make more, you can make less. And it all depends on what their budget is for employees. Um, so. Uh, with aircraft maintenance engineering, he can work as an aircraft mechanic to maintain, repair, overhaul, modify, and test aircraft structural, mechanical, and hydraulic systems. And um, you can work for many different, in different places like aircraft manufacturing, maintenance, uh, repair, and overhaul establishments, as well as the military. So if you have a goal of joining the military, this is a good job to have, or a good program to get into prior to attending the military. Um, so third and fourth class power engineers operate and maintain reactors, turbi turbines, boilers, and gener generators, and stationary engines and auxiliary equipment. Um, they are employed by power generation plants, electrical power utilities, manufacturing plants and hospitals, etc. cetera. Um, electrical applied um, are employed by electrical contractors, and maintenance departments, they could also be self-employed, just like welding, you can be self-employed. And welders are employed by companies that manufacture structural steel and plate work, boilers, heavy machinery, aircraft and ships, and et cetera. And like I said, again, you can be self-employed. <laughs> so this is a quick tip um, when applying for post-secondary, because well, all, all, I'm pretty sure all post-secondary institutions require transcripts. Um, so um, your high school transcripts, if when applying for your post-secondary programs, high school transcripts from the Ministry of Education only take 24 hours to be sent electronically to post-secondary institutions within Saskatchewan. And that's all dependent on what time of the day you do apply for them, because then it could be two days because of, like if you apply at nine o'clock at night, doesn't mean it's gonna come in at nine o'clock the next night. Um, it, all, it, it all comes in intervals kind of thing. So just like a quick tip to understand that when you do apply for post-secondary, just keep that in mind that, you know, only takes 24 hours for electronic records to be sent like that. And then as well as it, it's a good habit to have one copy sent to yourself that you always have it. And if you apply for funding in the future, um, you'll have that copy with you to submit with your application. So just, just a little quick tip on transcripts. Any questions? This is the end of my presentation, so I can go back if anyone has any questions on any of the programs. I'll take that awkward silence as a no. <laughs> we do have a question there from Shelby. Shelby has asked, will there be any programs available this fall? You said there was a waiting list. Yes, um, I'll go back to the um, the post-secondary programs here. Um, so IT support specialist is still accepting. Um, is most of the Saskatoon programming is actually um, filling up, except for ITSS um, is kind of like a slow climb on that one. So if you do love computers, that would be an ideal one to get into. Um, so that one's still accepting applications and healthcare aid in Prince Albert. Um, that one was just launched about a week and a half ago. So that one is still um, like 
very open. And as well as um, the business diploma in Regina, I believe has a few seats left. And the mental health and wellness, you'll see the locations, I acronym them, and you can see I made a mistake as well. Um, so Saskatoon is full, um, PA is just about full, and then the long acronym there that I made a spelling mistake on is um, Mosquito Grizzly Bear Head Lean Man First Nation. That K is not supposed to be there, it's supposed to be an L, as well as being offered in Yorkton. And then when it comes to the trades, um, Saskatoon, like I said, is pretty much um, reaching its capacity and then is now overflowing into um, uh, wait list except for electrical applied for Saskatoon like because that one is a later program that one the the wait list um, I'm not saying it, it moves rather quickly but um different factors come into play when it comes to applicants withdrawing their applications so that one I would I would suggest if you do have an electrical aspirations that you apply for that one as soon as possible and welding applied is the level one um, um, certificate for welding and that one's in Regina and that one is fairly open as well but I don't know how much of you want to relocate all the way down south because I know this is a northern career fair so it's it's really up to you <laughs> any other questions yes thank you so much um, uh, Shelby also says thank you I, I have to I do not so much a question it's Kara here I'd like to give a big shout out to SIIT. Um, we also have a sub office in La Ronge, and they definitely help a lot of job seekers with their resumes and looking at future career goals. Now, um, with my work in La Ronge and um, in cooperation with SIIT, I, I've noticed that a lot of our students have um, the ability to take WMIS and different um, tickets uh, and SIIT helps. Am I speaking out of turn? Is there a place where students can apply to get safety tickets and tickets from SIIT? Yes, um, I'm just going to stop sharing my screen real quick um, because I, I failed to um, include that in my presentation because I was, I was trying to make it as quick as possible because we do have a time constraint on all the presentations. But I, I believe I can show this to you quickly. Um, the SIT Career Center. Um, hold on, I just got to find it. So you'll see here on um, the SIT Career Center. So you choose a location closest to you um, and then you meet with the job coach. And um, so if, you, if any of you wanna take down this number really quickly, I can also go on to the next page and show you um, what programs they do offer. So I'll also go back to this one as well, but those are the locations, Creighton, LaRange, Lloyd Minister, Meadow Lake, North Balford, Prince Albert, Regina, Saskatoon, New Yorkton. So if you plan on relocating to anywhere near those areas, you can meet with those job coaches. And then as well as right here, these are the, um, some of the programming that SIIT Career Center does offer. So like auto body repair, automotive service technician preparation, concrete forming, construction worker preparation, heavy equipment operator, guest services representative, steel stud and drywall, mining industry and pre-employment program, outdoor power equipment repair, residential renovation, construction, um, scaffolding, tri-trades, and volunteer firefighting training. So those are um, the programs that uh, the career centers um, do offer. So if any of you, if any of that sparked an interest in you and you want to take down a number, you have the opportunity right there to take the number down. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. What a great presentation. Uh, definitely look forward to working with you in the future. Uh, but now, just to stay on time, it's 2.30. So we are going to move to our next presentation. Melissa Constant. Melissa Constant is from the University College of the North. And Melissa, if you want to just unmute your microphone and share your video or share your presentation, uh, please go ahead now. Oh, good afternoon. I'm unmuted. I'm just waiting for 
Uh, I think I, I, do you see that I'm on camera? Yes, we can see you. 